Hello and welcome back to Moga Village. I'll be honest, I tried to record this a little bit ago and it ended up doing poop. So, and you'll probably have seen another really videos prior to this one coming out, but I mentioned it as well. Oh, but I'm gonna really, what I plan to do in that for this one, on this time. Which is Burger Me Hunting Gen Moron. Or at least that's how I pronounce it. I've only. Pronunciation of some of these monsters' names are just so hard to really know just because it's almost impossible. But this is Jen. And I'm hoping I'm not repeating myself from the videos that I actually recorded that ended up well, or I'm going to end up being myself. I know I'm going to repeat some things from the one that flopped, but hopefully I'm not repeating myself too much from the ones that actually turned out okay. But Genmon is one of my personal favorites, and it was, I recently, when I got back into Monster Hunter World, I played Cool Terra, and I played Zora Magnus again, and these, those two are much, are a closer similarity to something like this, and usually they're also one of my favorite type of hunts, where big, huge monster with special arena, little bastard subspecies assholes getting in the way, but Jen is my personal favorite and you was, I believe, my first for this experience. And there are other versions of this. This is there are large monsters like Samajiva as it's a wrong arena, but I don't think it's it's not as large as Jen is. Um it's not a sequential kind of thing where you can predict all the movements and all the actions that the monster is going to take. Which that is what this art is. Absolutely to a T. Oh, you know Jen's going to do certain things at certain time periods, and when he does certain movements, it's a very telegraphed fight. And damn it, I, I made it there, but I didn't think I made it there, and so I fucked up. But and. Sort of. I'm gonna probably do so much worse than I did on that recording that screwed up just because. Ugh. Oh, karma. Are you ready for me to jump on you? Am I gonna be able to jump on you? Yes, yes, yes. Don't knock me off, don't knock me off, don't knock me off. Oh my god, I'm so afraid of being knocked off. Okay. Here we go. Bottom first. Get rid of Hopefully I do as well as I did on that. You know, so that I end up fanning on. I mean the recording thing, not so much me failing the class. <laughs> but I love these cyclops and I understand that they're not everyone's favorite, and part of that is due to they are a repetitive kind of just learn their pattern kind of thing, but I love them. And part of it is because while you're learning the pattern of this one monster and the hunt for this monster will likely be 
roughly the same every single time that you actually do it. Um, there is some merit in that it is a break from the norm of all the other monsters. Like I've hunted in the last video, I have to get bear off, very often bear off radio should have gone up. And I hunted those both in the same area. And those monsters still also have a pattern to them, um, especially in this, you know, usually their spawn point, their origin points, and stuff. They're likely in these area. And, and as long as you get to them within a certain time frame, and when the quest starts, you'll find them at X location. And if they're not at that location, then they're at their second location, which is usually always the same. They are very pattern food type monsters. But, you can sort of figure. So, like I said, those have their pattern. There are other pattern patterns. And Gem has a pattern as well. Oh, Hollow Gem. Darren Merle has a pattern. And that's honestly completely fine. I kind of expect it from them. Like, they're meant to be these pattern hunts. And I completely enjoy that. I enjoy Monster Hunter, even despite its having using fun lines, so. I'm not gonna knock it for having them. But. The only real difficult part, I think, that it's doing a gen hunt more. Or this type of hunt more is just because you are also locked in usually for majority of the life of the quest. Because because of the size and because of the health bar, they have more health than the majority of the other monsters. So odds are you're gonna be in it for a long time, which has good bad, everything in between, kind of, and concepts to it, of your lock-in. And this one is for Jin and the chunk of them are locked in half hour. And they are also slay on the tail, so you may not even be Slaying it and getting the car option, you may just be repelling it and getting whatever rewards show up. Yep. Oh, look, the test broke. There's one. Somewhat odd. And maybe it's because I broke the test early. Normally I don't get that one as early as I do. Or as early as I did right now. No, not really. Okay. I'm not ready for use. But this is just phase one of this. For anyone who isn't familiar with this monster, this is phase one of this one. And it's gonna go into the second phase fairly soon. Am I sure yet? How am I not sure yet? Okay. 
maximum. So we do that. This one will be a lot easier if those are the last six ones. Oh, what the hell? I think I damaged them more than I thought I did because that doesn't always happen. Either I damaged them more than I thought I did, or not as much as I thought I did. It's so weird. Because... He's supposed to be... There. That's where he's supposed to be. But, no. You decided to be a dick. And I think it's because I damaged him more than... I had. There are certain damage thresholds that will change some of the patterns. Like, I think I remember one time hunting with friends and we completely skipped the first Dragonator. Or whatever came after. Oh, thank god, I almost only missed it. But no, it's usually right after the first one when it goes down into the second one, hitting it, and then it should be in time. I used to be so afraid of doing that. Okay, we're actually going to come up on the side. We should. I don't think I damaged him enough to skip it. Just for him to dick with me more. There we go. Stop you from running. Push out the arm within reach. Come on. Slink back. Not ram into me. God, these don't suck. Hold on. No, 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 I haven't. I guess it was always on the blanket. It's a proper switch. Not on your back. You're acting like I'm on your back. I know it probably depends on should be. You can still do a lot of damage to the holes. Oh, I don't see. Need. Need. Re up my. Stamina, that's for sure. Because I want to now break its arms. He's about to throw. Or would be throwing me off if I was still on his head. Or did you want to get? Come on! Okay. And it's broken! I figured I had done enough. Okay. Yeah, the front cut. The left side tuss isn't fully broken yet. Just the right one. Okay. Need to keep my eye out. Let's see. Cut. 
potentially going to do another... Oh, good. Can I gather up all the... the list of fruit? This one. Okay, enter the final shit now. There's one thing I don't like about... They made a change between try and two ultimate where... Oh, we just sort of lifted into the landscape. Where you have a limit on your ballista ammo for the first round and for the second round. And I can't remember if it was shared between the group even or everyone kept their set amount if you were doing this in multiplayer fashion. But I was not a fan of that. Don't limit the amount of ballista I can use or cannon I can use. Just make it. I I guess there's some defense for it not being a completely unlimited resource. But I still think it'd be better if it was Okay, you gather too much of it now you have to wait a certain time period before there's even more available. That's where that one ends up. It's a little short. Aiming for the chest right now. And I got it! I did not expect it. That was kind of a Hail Mary shot. Getting it from that distance is really hard. Because the aiming reticle is not the center point, is where you're going to hit. So you sort of have to judge by how much is it dipping. Okay, start moving up. You're literally in the back end of the map. But as here's like, here's the wall. You cannot go past here. So if you, or your group, slay Jen before he gets past it, or actually, you should even let him go a little bit further, because he usually falls back when he does fall. Also, not only you're basically missing, he will fall back behind the wall, and then be completely out of reach. For any sort of carving thing, I remember doing it once where, okay, one of the spots was open, but the other spots behind the wall. <gasps> so we're stuck. Get back here! I accidentally did a switch. And great. That's really bad. It's still normal. It's all I'm fine. Okay. Get over here. Come on, you know you want to do it. You know you wanna. Especially once I have my soldier and <laughs> just throw shit. To bait him into doing what I want him to do. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. And he. The move with the raising up both of its legs is what will basically end up causing more damage to the ship. And that is one of the key conditions for this quest, is if the ship gets destroyed, then good luck. Granted, the ship also shows no sign of destruction, so that menu that I went and checked was basically the only indicator here of whether or not 
I think there is a warning that will come up. Ooh! Damn. Okay. Up here for a bit. We're gonna do this next time we try that. This is gonna be stalemate. And I'm gonna win. Oh, god damn it, no, I'm not. <gasps> Your toss could not be able to do that. Can you do it? Come on. Maybe that was one of them. hit you with some cannonballs. And that time when you get me. Okay, this is a 30 minute class. And you will need your stuff in it for 30 minutes. There we go. And once you hit, you hit the hunting horn at exactly the right time, you can get side from now, which is the highest damage point I believe. At least for this phase. I think his back spots are also high damage points. But I'm gonna send, send him really now, it's going to break his arm. Chicken and everything was in the loo and I wasn't worried, but that was the best way to send him back, is breaking that point. Because everything else is broken! <laughs> the only way to really bring him back is to either hit things at the right points or to stun him. And breaking is the best way to stun him. I'm also Throw on some candles. Not close enough. And there it is. This can be one of the sucky parts about this quest, especially if you're in a group and you have friends doing hits on the back while you're doing ballista. Uh, hey, now I need to run all the way to get any sort of carbs. Good luck getting there. So she, since the time limit to do the cards, it's still the same. So you can end up missing out on card. I've done this one not just because of it falling out of bounds, but also due to time limit constraints. This one, yes. I don't know where I'm carving. I really kind of don't need any of the sparks. I have grinded gently. Oh. Well, I 
but it's still one of my favorites, and I adore this quest so much. And I think this is one of the better versions of a large monster hunt. I especially like this version. Oh! I'm now ranked in Quino 101. Um, so, it is something that is moving multiple parts, has a pattern to it that can divvy up. Anyway, I will see you next time.